well guys happy monday i am at work um waiting for my gym buddy to be ready to go to the gym so i'm just working on the store project that i've been doing um so we have this really cute kid sweater it's all done right right down to to i've started doing the edging we're just doing a little half half double crochet all the way around um the body and the the opening and the neck to kind of stabilize it but otherwise it's looking really cute so i'm trying to get this done before i go to the gym because then i can just do whatever i want when i get home i can be productive for myself also this means i have store credit tomorrow Okay, we are home from the gym. We have now finished the sweater. It's super cute. It's a weird angle. I'm too lazy to set up the tripod. So, it's really cute. It turned out super adorable. I wish it was big enough to fit me. It's not. Um, but yeah, so that's done and we'll take that back to work tomorrow. I have made a chicken wrap. And after I eat my dinner, maybe the other half of the Kit Kat that I have sitting here, um, I think we need to make some mushrooms because um, I have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I only have nine days. I have nine days until my first market of the year and I am in no way prepared for that. So we need to make our guaranteed sales like all of our pocket size buddies and we need them in an abundance because it's a two-day show this year but it's normally only one day so like mm, don't know what's gonna go on there yeah so i'm gonna eat dinner and then i'm gonna start a mushroom voice all right it is midnight i've been crocheting rather slowly and lazily but i do have five of these little mushroom guys i just need to put eyes on them and stuff them um, so there's five of these guys and then i was gonna finish it tonight but i'm really tired um, so I've started doing the slightly bigger, this is the medium mushroom buddy, um, and then I do have a taller mushroom boy, um, but I'll finish him tomorrow. I think I'm going to aim for five of each size, um, and then if I get done the five of each size, maybe I will go back and make some more of the pocket mushrooms. But that's going to be it for tonight because I'm tired, so I'm going to go to bed early. I'll see you tomorrow. Guys, it's snowing again. I need this to stop. I don't like it. Tuesday night, we are home. Um, I took my finished store project into work today. And with my store credit, there wasn't really anything I really needed, but the Handicrafter Big Ball Cotton Yarn was on sale, so I managed to get these with it. So we got this beautiful green one in Junebug Ombre. Uh, we got this one, it's pinks and grays. It is called granite pink um this one is crown jewels ombre so it's like teals and purples 
Nico what you're doing. And then I also got this one, which is called Hippie, and it is just whites and blues. So I figured that was a nice collection of color combos, color options, um, for some cotton projects. Probably some more potion bottle holders, so they'll be nice and colorful. Um, I do want to get some just like natural, like not white, but like that natural unbleached kind of cotton color. Um, because I'd like to make some of those. And I was thinking I might try and make a crocheted belt. I think I'm going to try and make a belt. Um, anyway, I just put a shepherd's pie in the oven. So I have an hour before that's done. And we're going to try and work on some more mushrooms while we wait for that to be done. And it is a little after 1 a.m. Um, I've been working really slow today. Just my hands keep cramping up. But I finished the... I have two of these guys finished. They just need eyes and stuffing. This is the medium mushroom guy. And then I do have uh, three more mushroom caps. So I will do their bodies tomorrow so that I'll have five and five and I can start on the big mushroom boys. But that's it for today because I need to go to bed because like, I'm tired. And right, it is Wednesday night. We are finally home from work. Um, my socks are wet because it snowed again. And there is a blanket of white, wet crap outside. Um, yeah, but I reached in my pocket to pull out the rings that I bought today for a new project, for a new item type for my booth. Um, and realized I brought my walkie-talkie home with me. So it's a good thing this is my walkie-talkie at work and not like a shared one. It's fine. It's fine. I've turned it off. It'll go back to work with me on Friday. It's fine. Um, and I kind of need a break from the velvet yarn, so we are going to work on attempting our new product idea. And we're going to see how that turns out, but I have to do some research for that because I'm not sure what kind of stitch that I want to use. Um, so I'm going to have to look into that. So we're going to do a little sneaky research on crochet stitches. Um, and... We'll try that out, I think. Hmm. I think we're gonna try it out in the green because I'm a green bitch and obviously the first version of the product I'm going to keep for myself. So we're gonna use this green. This is the Junebug Ombre Handy Crafter. I do not enjoy crocheting with Handy Crafter, but I need to use cotton for this project for stability reasons. I'll see you in a bit when I figure out what I'm doing. Seriously, look at this. None of this was here yesterday. All right, I've been very distracted tonight, but I did finish what I was working on, so I like I like how it turned out. We've got we've got our lovely belt, so we've got a double ring situation. Um, so it's going to be able to be worn a few different ways. This one is obviously um, sized for myself. But I like that I can make them in like different lengths. I'll have to kind of figure out like an average extra small, small, medium, large, extra large kind of situation for them. Um, but I'm really excited with how it turned out. I think it looks super cute. Um, but it is also quarter to one in the morning because I was really lazy and I was getting very distracted and I picked up my phone a lot. So I'm going to go to bed. Well, I'm going to let the dog out and then I'm going to go to bed. And we have laundry to do tomorrow, so I will probably pick a different color and take it with me to crochet while I'm doing laundry, and then we will get back to the mushrooms tomorrow. It is Thursday morning. We are kind of running out and about today, but we're going to go support some friends um, and check out a yarn shop, but there'll be a different video for that. So I'll see you when we go to the college thing to support friends. I have a bit of time to kill before the market actually opens, so I thought I'd stop for lunch. We're trying something new, like an old favorite. We have our eggy salad with pickles and lettuce, and then this is the new one. So this is a chicken alfredo with tortellini soup, and I'm really excited to try it. I normally love piping kettle. I usually I just live off of the broccoli cheddar soup. Um, that's damn good. I need a tortellini to try. There's, there's a tortellini. Oh my god, the tort... This is a massive tortellini. That's not going to fit in my mouth. Oh, 
oh, this was a good choice. This was a good choice. I'm going to eat this, and then we'll go to the market and visit friends. All right, we are home now. Um, the space that, like, the little innovation market was in was very, very tiny, very, very tight. Um, and I didn't really want to film because it was going to be really hard to film the overall atmosphere without getting people's faces really clearly in it. And I didn't want to have to ask every person if they were okay being in it. So here's, here's a little shot of some of the skirt patterns that my friend Kimmy from TKN Fashion has, has made and she had today. Um, I was on a mission to buy one of her little bow tie pasta keychains and I did I did it's just it's just a cute little clip on keychain that is a little little piece of bow tie pasta um I'm a kind of I'm kind of a pasta slut so it was it was really cute and I wanted one so now I have one and I'm going to clip it to one of my many many bags um and I'm home I got coffee I don't know what it is but apparently the campus tim hortons um makes theirs extra strong because this is tasting extra zippy also i didn't pay attention when i was reading things um and i totally went to the wrong campus just because i didn't actually read what my eyeballs were seeing um so then i had to go from one campus to the other campus which was fine it's still good i was really really excited to see kimmy she was really excited that somebody came out that she knew um so you know that always feels really good I'm, I, apparently i made her morning um so i had a good day i bought yarn that i didn't need that i spent way too much money on i got a cute little bow tie keychain i got to see a friend that i haven't seen in forever and we might do some stuff together in the future i don't i don't know we're gonna chit chat about it and now i'm gonna try and be productive make some more mushrooms before i go to the gym later I think I've got about three hours before Tara gets here to pick me up for the gym because she wants to go to class so I will gym while she does class whatever it's fine also I really need to charge um one of the pairs of my wireless headphones because I'm getting tired of using my wired ones at the gym it just makes life more difficult I'm gonna crochet yes, now. so we have five medium mushroom boys and mm, Five mini mushroom boys. Let's see if we can we can do a size comparison one-handed here. There we go. So this is the pocket guys, and then my medium boys, pocket chunky. Um, so I have five of each of these, and I was gonna move on to the big mushroom boys where they have like a full body with arms and legs, but I think I'm gonna use some of my really chunky sweet snuggles yarn to make. Um, probably this guy but like bigger because he'll be in chunky yarn because i think the sweet snuggles is actually probably like the equivalent of four or five strands of the velvet just because of how fluffy it is um but i do need to get ready to go to the gym because it's about 405 which means i've probably got about 20 minutes before my ride gets here so we need to change because you know we in jeans um and that's not gonna work for the gym um i'm gonna try and finish my coffee and um, yeah, yeah, coffee, change, gym, and then we'll come back and work on more stuff. Home from the gym, had a good workout, and um, got a treat. Because yeah, um, a blizzard is definitely what you need directly after the gym. <laughs> um, we're gonna go back to making mushrooms, so this is the top of one of my chunky mushrooms with the sweet snuggles so i'm thinking i'm gonna make three or four of these guys and then we will move on all right so we have finished three large chunky boys i only had enough cream to do one of them so the other ones are done in white um they're they're pretty pretty cute his eyes are a little far apart that's fine then we got this one um and i do have two more mushroom tops so I will make two more of those guys tomorrow um but it's quarter after 11 and I do work at 9 30 in the morning so it's kind of an early early morning for me so I'm gonna call it a night and uh go to bed
see you tomorrow. So today is really unfortunate because it is like 10 and a half degrees Celsius inside the building where I work. All right, we are home. There was a bit of a mass exodus from work today. Um, basically, we are dealing with some stuff and the heat's busted. Um, I'm in Canada and it was like nine degrees Celsius in most of the store. One corner was actually eight degrees Celsius, which is far below um, what we are required to work in. In fact, um, 18 is apparently when we are allowed to refuse to work in it. So I'm home early, which means I have a few extra hours to crochet, but we're gonna start by finishing these last two of the Chunky Mushroom Boys, and then we will move on to something else. I wanna make some of the Tall Mushroom Guys, but I think I need to make something else and like do something not mushrooms for for a little bit. So we'll finish these two and then we'll see where we go. All right, we finished our last two Mushroom Boys. It is now 4.20, so I'm actually gonna go pop into the kitchen and um, start peeling potatoes because I need to do a little prep work before dinner because I'm gonna make some potato soup. So I have to peel and chop some potatoes so I can start that. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back and just because I do have the yarn right here, I'm gonna make one, one of my tall mushroom guys out of the sweet snuggles. Yeah, and then I think we're gonna pull some of this blue and maybe do some dragons or some dinos because I have a lot of that blue and I'd like it to go away. Ooh, or maybe a giant, no, dragons or dinos. I don't know, um, but right now I have to go chop potatoes. I would just like to say that my cheesy potato broccoli soup looks amazing. All right, so it's like 11 o'clock. Um, I have this little dragon body and I do have like his ears and his wings and his horns and like his legs, um, but I'm really tired and coffee wasn't working. So I will sew him together tomorrow, but tonight I think I'm gonna go to bed because I have to be ready for like 8.30, quarter to nine for the gym tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll see you tomorrow after I sew him together. So I was gonna go to bed um, and then I decided I know exactly what I'm going to make with one of the fancy yarns that I just got. Um, so I decided to cake my baby leaves skein of the Legion and Lace. Um, that took about 45 minutes. I really need to invest in a yarn swift because that was torture taking this without getting the twisted skein, the hank, into a million knots. That was 40 minutes of torture. Um, on the bright side, it's caked now and I can start um, the project that I want to make with it. <sighs> I think I'm going to make myself a fancy scarf um, because, you know, spending $28 on a single skein of yarn, this is definitely for myself, not for sale or for anyone else. Um, but that is caked. I'm gonna go to bed because it's after mid. All right, it's Saturday morning. We're awake now. Um, did not go to the gym because I woke up with a monstrous headache. Um, so I went back to bed instead of going to the gym. We're awake now. I'm just going on a coffee run. And then by the time I get home, breakfast should be delivered. And then we will get back to crocheting. I somehow managed to break my bat ring and she actually remade it for me and she put a second band on the bottom so it can't get caught on things anymore. Um, so, it's really cute. She dropped off the new one and picked up the broken one this morning. So, really cute, I feel, I feel fancy. Freaking fancy! All right, so I'm mid mushroom boy um, watching like market vlogs on YouTube, just kind of hanging out, crocheting. I've got arms, this is his head, I just started his legs, 
um, when something they said in the YouTube vlog reminded me that I wanted to get new tablecloths for this year because I've been using a purple one and I love that it's like the knit stretch. However, I'm kind of, goodness, that was loud. Clearly somebody's playing some phasmophobia. Anyway, um, yeah, I am like streamlining all of my small business stuff and my market stuff. And because the shelves that I use are white um, piping uh, with like this pretty sky baby blue shelving, um, I wanted to get new tablecloths that matched the blue. Um, so I just went and did a quick order on Amazon, so my new light blue tablecloth should arrive tomorrow, um, and then I'll have that for next weekend because, oh, that was cutting it close. I'm tired, and I want to take a nap, but if I take a nap now, I'm just going to pass out for the night, so I think we're going to pop over and take a shower, kind of hope that that wakes us up, but we have finished the big mushroom boy. He's got some little mushroom dots on his cap. He's really cute. Um, so this concludes our mushroom journey for this market. Um, I think we're going to work on some little pocket guys, whether those are like octos or the little scrubbing bubble octos or like loaf kitties. I feel like that orange coral one in the background would make cute little um, loaf kitties. But we're going to take a shower first, see if that can wake us up. And then we'll go back to crochet. We're back. We're clean and showered. We've done some toner. We've done some serum. We've got some healing lip balm on. We've done some self care, and I am now much more awake. <laughs> um, showers will do that to you. Uh, so I have pulled these three colors. I feel like these are nice, kind of cat colors. Mm -hmm. um, at least out of the options I have up there, we were going for more natural. So we're gonna do some little kitty loafs to add to my pile of things for my show next weekend. Um, and while I do that, I think I'm gonna watch a movie. I, there's gotta be something on Netflix or Amazon Prime that I haven't seen yet. There's gotta be something. Okay, so I've never done the little loaf kitty pattern that I have, um, and I don't, I don't like it. This, this is what it looks like. Um, and it also has feet that you have to stitch on. I don't like the way the feet are done. Um, I was going to be like, no, I will finish this one. And then I'll never, no, I'm not even going to finish this one. This is it. I'm, I'm not even going to embroider the whiskers on. No, I'm going to go, I'm going to find my little no sew pig pattern that I have. And I'm just going to alter that and turn that into a cat because I don't like this one. Everybody's obsessed with the low cat and I don't, mm -hmm. I'm really hoping everybody is obsessed with a different pattern for the loaf cat because I don't like this one. Okay, guys, I don't know what he is, but he's not a cat. He looks so horrible. Like, I love him, but he's some kind of, like, really fat rat in disguise. So turning the pig into a kitty cat did not work. Um, like... He's so ugly that I love him. Um, so we're going to skip cats and we're just, we're going to move on to something else. I don't know what it's going to be, but we're going to just, we're going to do something else. There will be no cats. Good almost afternoon guys. So it is Sunday. It is now 11 o'clock. So I got up, went to the gym, <coughs> have come home. Last night I finished these two little plush rubber duckies. They're a bit more of like a golden yellow than a bright yellow, so they're a little different than my usual. But we've got two of these guys. I would like to make three more. Um, we'll see how far this ball of the gold gets me, but ideally I would like to have three more so I have five of them. Um, and then after I finish those ducks, the three or however many I get, we will be moving on to the pocket-sized Tofu the Turtle, um, because I do need some turtles because I'm pretty sure I'm sold out. Um, so I'd like to do five in the classic green with the brown shell, and then I'd like to do some um, other color options, but for now, our mission is three more ducks. Okay, we are checking in. I've actually gone. I've gotten a new coffee. Um, but we have one, two whole ducks, and this is the third duck. As you can see, his butt's kind of shiny. 
because I ran out of yarn before I could finish him and had to grab that one over there, um, which is a yarn bee velvet yarn that is almost the right color. So from a distance, he doesn't look anything. He doesn't look multicolored. He's just got a shiny butt. Um, but that allowed me to finish him. <sighs> so I now have a total of five rubber ducks in this color. I, I have some other ducks somewhere. I'm going to have to locate those. Um, but now we are going to move on to pocket pals. I think we're going to make some turtles. Okay, so I have 15 turtle shells. Uh, and then I made some dinner, which I'm just finishing. We have um, rice and Ikea meatballs with sweet and sour sauce because um, lazy dinner. So I'm going to finish eating and then we need to make 15 heads for all the turtles and then finish their bodies off. Um, but I'm going to assembly line and do all of the heads and then I'll go back to finish the bodies. Alright, it is 9pm. I have five completed tiny tofu the turtles. Um, so I finished the blue ones and I could probably finish the other ten tonight but I think I'm actually going to go to bed early because I do work in the morning. Yeah. And I'm tired, so I'm going to pack it up for the night, go to sleep, and then we will finish the turtles tomorrow after work. So I guess that is it for this week's vloggity vlog. Um, I will see you guys next week uh, with a little bit more in-depth uh, market prep because I'm going to have to start packing and things might get a little squirrely. I'll see you next week.